This is guaranteed, guaranteed lethal for us. Yep, you guys see it? Puzzle party. We just need 10 damage. Million percent lethal. We have the perfect hand. The perfect amount of sun. A little extra. We give him one of these. We give him one of these. Shabow. But you can pound. Pretty funny. Pretty funny. Got him. Perfect. Come on, guys. Doesn't get better than that. That's what I'm talking about. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing Mime Gadget with Immortitia. Uh, really focusing this deck as being a proper miracle deck, which means I want to run as much card draw as possible. At first I was actually going to run uh, four copies of Wormhole, which is going to draw cards. Also a good stat card, also a science card. That's going to be important. I'll explain that in a sec. I was going to run four copies of Kite 2. In the end, the chat convinced me to run two copies of Kite Flyer and then two Bounty Hunters, since this is also a science card, which also has Frenzy, which also draws cards. You're trying to draw as many cards as possible because you're going for a very specific combo. Turn 6, you're going to teleport in Gargantuar Mime. Every once in a while, you can do it on turn 5 if you have a teleportation zombie that they can't deal with. But really... Again, the reliable way is to actually play Teleport and uh, Mime Gark on turn 6, and then on turn 7, you're, you're going to do a Gadget um, combo. So the two cards you can combine with the Gadget Scientist is either Neutron Imp or Cyborg. These are both science cards, so the uh, Gadget Scientist will make you do two bonus attacks. Uh, one for itself, one for the other card you developed, and another one for any other science cards that happen to be around on the field. So that's just an added bonus. This will make the Mime Guard do two bonus attacks, uh, which makes it do 10 damage. You add the damage that's coming in from the Gadget Scientist and anything else you've done that game. It's basically an OTK. You're going to be taking out most of their health uh, in a one-turn kill combo. That's what OTK stands for, since people always ask in the YouTube comments. So... So, what else are we doing? So, Teleportation Zombie is a pretty good way of controlling the early game. You can use it to teleport anything from uh, Gatekeeper to the Mime Guard for your finisher. You can definitely teleport in the Bounty Hunter, which, again, can draw cards. I, I don't really see the frenzy of the Bounty Hunter being very likely to combine with Mime Guard. Mime Guard, once it's on the field, it usually doesn't last a turn. I mean, every, everyone's running big removal every once in a while. You'll play my, my Garg. It will last. They're not going to have the big removal, and then you're going to be able to get Frenzy. Uh, again, either with the Bounty Hunter or uh, with the Area 22. The area... We're doing this with Immortitia. I was kind of thinking of doing it with Ross Bolt, but really, Immortitia with the Bounty Hunter and with the Area 22 and the Cyborg uh, definitely do make this better. Cyborg's anyway a really good control card. You can even just play this deck like your typical... Uh, if you don't get your mind guard, like your typical science combo deck, where the you know you teleport in the big cyborg on turn six and then just play uh, gadget scientists. If that big cyborg is teleported into area 22, uh, that's just going to be basically all their health right there. And it's really cool to have neutron imp also as your one drops. Not only is it a late combo piece, this can also be used to control. You can teleport it in front of things, and you can even combine it. Let's say on turn four with area 22, so this will end up doing a lot of damage. Maybe there's a chance that we're going to be able to pull off neutron mime again the reason why neutron and mime is not a very good combo is because even if you teleport this in you know if you play mime guard usually just gets removed but let's say you even teleport it in on turn six when you play your neutron on turn seven it's still not doing a bonus attack until a whole nother plant turn with seven sun passes and until you can finally uh play the area 22 same thing if you teleport it in on turn seven they're gonna have really two They'll have a whole turn to respond to the Mime Guard. That's so why it's better to play, do this with Gadget Scientist, or like we've done in the past with Trickster, that does that immediate bonus attack that the plants are not going to have a turn to answer your Mime Guard. Because again, if they have a card that can remove this, and who doesn't, uh, they're going to use it. You know, Shamrock, it's just so sad in this game. Um, but I think this way could end up being reliable, since again, you play the Gadget before they get a chance to respond. Just running some basic small removal cards. And big removal cards with the rocket science and the nibble. We also have some small removal and a little bit of big removal. It should be enough control for the early game. Uh, I'm excited to see the, the kite flyer. I know it seems weird, but really, you know, even if this draws one card and chump log something, that's still good. You really just want to be all again to really reliably draw cards. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, again, we can win like a normal science deck, but we're really going to be primarily trying to hoard cards in our hand. And going for the big science, uh, the Mime Gadget Scientist combo. Now, if you think this deck will go, will we have time for 10 games today? I think we will. 
I want to give this a nice shot too. Normal bets today. 8 out of 10 is a yes. 7 and 3 or fewer is a no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash Frama. And yes, I agree with Jurassic Peta in the chat. Big board is big Borg is definitely what we're calling the big cyborg from now on. Big Borg. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so the question is against Grass Knuckles, a typically very aggressive hero. Do we keep combo pieces? Like we have three already in our hands. Probably ditch one of the teleports. This is rough. Because <laughs> where the whole deck is built on gaining these cards exactly. But it might be too much to keep in their starting Kite hand. Maya is science and draws a card every hit, as opposed to Bounty Hunter, which needs to destroy a plant exactly. and a science card. That's why we're, we're trying out both of them. Uh, I'm going to say keep them. I, I, this probably is a huge mistake. I wonder if I should be playing this more control anyway, though. He rumbles for face, so looks like he's going really aggressive here, which is not what we want to see. Here's Cyborg, so especially the turn that he's already played Rumble, he could play Spikeweed Sector, but otherwise this basically controls, you know, he can't really play Triceratops, he could play Black IP in one, or Juggernaut, but this kind of messes up whatever you want to do, that's okay, we have the Acid Rain, I think we're actually doing pretty well here. He's not able to develop damage to face though, which seems like from that dry Rumble. That's what he wanted to do. I wonder if I burn a teleport here. I guess it depends how how hard he goes here. Do we have to desperation teleport? I think it's, we're going to save the teleport. Pretty sure we're just playing dry bounty here. Dry bounty into dry big Borg. Do we play for Rocket? I don't think so. So he kind of has to confront this. This is a winning tra well, That's still a winning trade, though. We don't have a board, but we draw a card. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, we don't have a little, uh, a small science card anymore to combo with our gadget. That's kind of what we're looking for. Will we go for Rocket? I think this is fine. This should be okay. Again, if he Sham Rockets, he could develop a 2-drop. Which at this stage in the game is not that bad. Here's Groshroom. So we actually win the trade against the Groshroom, but he gets another Lily shot next turn. Pretty good play. And the block meter is not looking too happy either. Uh, so it's, it's almost for sure Teleport Mime here. This will hopefully at least trade with whatever he plays. Nope. So he gets full block meter. Privileges. Uh, okay, so game mechanics with the block meter. I'm pretty sure if Gadget Scientist... It, it, when the... When the... If the... Listen. If the science car procs the block, the Mime Guard will not be doing damage. But the second then, after that, any science bonus attack and the Mime Guard uh, will will do damage. So really, we don't do any damage with Mime Combo right now. I, I, I wish I had another minute to think about this play here. For now, we're just doing this. He only has two cards. Even double rocket science is pretty good here. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pass. There's nothing to do with the gadgets yet. There's also might be a weird world where we set up area here. And try to get a bigger combo with the gadgets next turn. So these right now are trading. Oof, okay. Who's that there? Bananas. That's the end of his cards. How do we do this? Both of these trade evenly. It's just going to be double rocket here, I believe. And uh, we'll, we'll win the card advantage game. So, the... It doesn't really matter which one of these we do, right? It doesn't matter at all, actually. 
I wonder if I should be setting up... I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really matter. He doesn't have cards left. We don't want to be feeding him cards with the gatekeeper, so hopefully we get something else to do here. Kite into teleport something. Maybe teleport this. Let's see what he plays. I'd love if you played an environment that would kind of be GG. God damn! So that's really bad for us. Uh, I'd love to see a bounty hunter. It's so unlikely to get though. Yes! Yes, so we have answers! Oh my gosh, that's so good. So we're able to kill this Bananasaurus Rex. Sort of his last hope here. Now the Kite Flyer will draw a card from killing the half banana. It won't draw a card from going face, but I mean, we have, we're have we in really, really solid control of this game right now. Uh, his powers, again, are Time to Shine, Root Wall, or Holoflora, so he got some cards. Man. Ugh. What do you think of the Valk deck with Neptuna? What do you think of a Valk deck with Neptuna? Samich, you're so confusing. So it's going to be Mime Garg. And Cyborg, I believe. And we're going to just try to gadget. Maybe I should have saved, I don't know, playing these two. I think the Mime is fine there. So he's just going for some fuel clear. I think we're good, though. We're also drawing another card from the Kite Flyer. So again, the Mime does 5. Uh, so the Mime is just going to do 10 here. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is lethal. And then we can add 2 Bullseye, which is awesome. Yay! We Yeet! Yeet! Got him! <laughs> And that's the way the news goes! They just beat Cancer Grass Knuckles. I guess he was running Lily, so it wasn't your typical Grass Knuckles. But we did it, boys! And uh, a little bit later in the game, it was turn 10, we were able to pull off the combo in the first game. That's a really, really good look for this deck. Man, the Neutron have saved our tushies. Hell yeah! So we'll keep this. I don't know why this. I don't. Know if, I feel like we've seen this name like <laughs> recently. It's just familiar. Maybe I'm just imagining things. So this is pretty good early game control. I think I'm actually gonna keep this hand. I'll try to draw into again. A... Nightcap usually either just goes fast or he goes cycle. Cycle gap. And we kind of have the answer to both of those. What? You got called Hitler yesterday because he didn't shut down our Starch Lord. What's wrong with our Starch Lord? That sounds like a great subreddit. Just all Starch Lord memes. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not what it is. <clears throat> the Starch, Starch Lord fan club. No, 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 no. I wonder if I should play this. I think this is good, basically, no matter what. God damn it. Well, that sure is annoying. Annoying! This does feel like Cycle Cap. You just use that to answer. It's so annoying how that answers Cyborg. Urgh. So if he doesn't commit it, we'll just uh, nibble or probably draw a card here. What do you guys think?
is what's better to nibble well nibble can can target admirals and stuff better later and we kind of do need well we can also teleport neutron that's actually probably is the play yep because this actually survives on the field and it, it makes the area into a threat coming up here that's fine it means we don't have that teleport. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of... Well, we don't have to play area here. It's cycle cap. We kind of know that, right? So right now, this will do 4-4. Four, four, and then 4. It's not a lot. I mean, Cycle Cap on turn 5 anyway just goes for it, right? 4, 4, 4 will be 12. 14. My gut instinct is not to commit this yet. I think we always do it next turn, though. Here we go. Okay, I think now we're going for it. Okay, he does not have the combo, apparently. Pine clone, interesting. Uh, so this is when, like, the bats become super useful. Just at preventing some damage. Uh, so this goes face here. Just thinking block meter. Usually it's better for it to be here. It also plays around his morse. I think this is right. Now he could roll a 2 and a 3 right now. That's fine. This overall is the way. So we get to block six damage, draw another card. This is just one. This is, this is good. So now we proc the block. He does not have a super anymore. So both of these guys live. He has rain, more spore, and blow. Blowing lane three would be good for him. More sport, don't do a damn. Don't do a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Let's just go straight through. So we're able to gadget plus nibble here. Looks pretty good. What would the other play be? Air going for another area, maybe. We'll be doing four. Is this a good gadget? Maybe it's not. You know what? Screw it. I'm going for kite flyer area, and then we'll do gadget for the for the win. See, this kills this one, and it makes us do an attack. Now he's gonna start kind of cycle. He only has two sun left. That's the sad part for him. Against a couple beans. Acid rain would be nice. We got it. So, this. <laughs> okay. Um, it's got to be area in two, right? Because four plus four will win. I'm just trying to think if we're gadgeting next turn, so two plus four does not win. Well, 2, 2, and 4. I think we just go for 4 plus 4. It means he's drawing another card and he can win next turn if he blocks. I mean, is this our best chance? I don't know, man. Actually, no. 4, and then if he props the block, it's another 4, and then the gadget does. Ah, oh, never mind. This is doing 8. Yeah, that's definitely right. So if he blocks here, which it looks like he does... Gadget just wins on the spot. Well, if he gets blow... Well, no, if he gets blow, we replay the neutral. Yeah, this is guaranteed lethal. Because it's... Well, if he gets rain... Oh, no, no, I didn't even think about that. Six, seven... Yeah, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. No, it's guaranteed lethal, guys. Shut up. It's guaranteed lethal. <laughs> guaranteed. So, I mean, we didn't get the mime guard, but this is good enough. 
Definitely got the job done with Neutron Imps actually carried us there against Cycle Cap. So cool. Love that game. Oh, man. <laughs> Yay. I, I just miscalculated how much the Neutron Imp was doing that turn. It was doing 4 plus 4 before the gadget, not after. All right. Nailed it. The neutron, the, the neutron Imp in lane 3 died because it had 2 health buff only because of the area 22, so when he played the environment, that 2 health buff disappeared in it. Ended up at Zippo. Here's another... Here's another dude. Oh, this looks pretty damn good, though. So, I don't think we play this on 1. We'll save it. Man, Neutron Imp... With area has just seemed to be a really, <laughs> really good combo. So I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play this here so we can just pass next turn. Let's see what we get. Maybe we'll go for rain. Nope. Oh, we have rain. I don't really know what he's playing around there. It doesn't. It trades against drone engineer, not against this. I guess it could berry blast this now. Good for you! Still got a player on Cycle Cap. He's just shown us a Shroom for two so far. Get rid of Bounty Hunter. So he's still playing all Cycle Cap cards. Uh, this is. Do we want that one to hit? Do we want to just go face with this? It kind of dies to Acid Rain anyway. This is probably better. I'll put this here. Yeah, so this should be fine. R slash Starclaw has planned your public execution for your crimes against the Starch Lord himself <laughs> on the 4th of February 4 p.m. 2025. Also, I got called H Tla because the old owner wanted it shut down because He claimed owner. <laughs> anyway, we got the uh Starch Lord fan club lore up in here. Man, another pine clone. So people are finally learning how to cycle cap. You know what I'm saying. So it could still be cycle cap. This area is looking really juicy. The acid rain is fine. It it makes us only take two here. I think the acid's gonna be better coming up anyway. It really removes any Admiral Navy Bean or Astro Shroom we place. This is also does damage when you place it there. So this bat. It's interesting, but it doesn't really get much done otherwise. I guess this is fine. Prevent three damage, draw a card. I guess that's as much as bats anyway gonna do in this game. That's alright. We're getting some decent damage in here. I know if we played it here, then it would combine better with Acid Rain, but... I don't know. Might be thinking a little too far ahead. So, I like uh, 2 plus 3 here into 5. Again, this only does 6 right now. I do like this play, though. Even if he moves this to lane 1, playing area 22 is nice. Having a rocket also just as a backup plan for this turn. Not knowing what exactly what he's going to do is good. Uh, it's odd. I guess he's going to play an environment? No. But this should do it. This is going to be 5 plus 4 plus 5. Ridiculous. Look at this play. The gadget will go right into this area. Man. Science and Area 22 are just the match made in heaven. It's so much, it adds so much damage and adds frenzy, which is just irreplaceable. <clears throat> right now, he already used this, so we'd have to get a lucky blow in order to even survive here. So this is a really good play. He needs the first block. And more spore would have oh more spore would have actually killed the cyborg because it moves. Uh yeah, more spore would have saved them. Otherwise blow would have had to hit this. Yeah, because this is clinging to life. Anyway, we rolled a one. 
Damn, this deck's dominant. What are the bets today? Oh, this is going well. I think the other thing we're doing here, instead of, oh, run a ton of card draw and get mime combo, we haven't gotten that traditional mime combo, even though we won game one with mime. <clears throat> but the other thing we're doing here is just taking our knowledge from all these science decks we've been running. Again, no helicopter in this deck. The mime is sort of instead of that. But we've just been winning science. <laughs> with Immortician Science, it's so good, man. <clears throat> it's 53% yes, 47% no. So pretty much right down the middle. <sighs> Do we keep a rocket against this guy? We really are looking for... Um, Cyborg is one of the best things we could get. Don't want to keep two gadgets. This is a pretty good hand, though. I forgot to vote. Can we say I voted 34k on this? Okay, we'll just say. So this will answer anything he plays, usually, other than the dreaded Forgormi nuts. That's interesting. I, I, uh, just because he can team this up with something next turn, well, this usually means he's running Go Nuts in his deck. Man, he's just playing this. It could also just be Aggro Citron. This would be an Aggro card. I just wonder if this is worth it. It probably is. Because if we play Teleportation Zombie in front of this next turn, then it can get teamed up and then we, we kind of lose miserably. Just lose everything. Again, we, we play into Spikeweed Sector here because it doesn't really do anything against uh, <laughs> Teleportation Zombie. We'll just cover it up next turn. It's 72% of people voted yes, but there's just one big spender on now. Very often people just will go all in. They'll see a good if someone saw this deck as a good opportunity to vote now. I love the bets. People were asking me for years to do bets. I finally did it. And now it's kind of like it just makes the stream have more drama, which is good. <laughs> it makes it more exciting, you know? That's a terrible play. What did he think it? It dies to, it doesn't die to, it would trade even with Squirrel. It dies to Rats, dies to Drone Engineer, dies to Teleportation Zombie. Give that man a little bit of basic gravestone knowledge. What a terrible cattail. Bro. What? He thought it was a swashbuckler. I don't even know what this guy thought, man. Absolute brusky. I'm going to go with the Kite Flyer here. I think we have enough tempo developed and plays that we can do next turn. That's okay, though. That's fine. You know what I want? I want a Neutron Imp right now. Alright, he got us here. He got the teleportation. Bro thought it was Sumo. You thought... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. No! Now this environment play doesn't work at all. What do we do here? This will die. Hmm. I mean, we could still area. This would live and draw another card next turn. Is that crazy? We really just have to play defense right now. In fact... Uh, the cool thing we could do is just gadget here. And this will draw the draw a card. We'll draw actually two more cards before it dies. The, the, the cool thing about Gadget Science is one of the rare cards that the other things happen before it happens. So this will make bonus attacks happen from left to right. Um, so if we Gadget here, it's kind of, it's, well, it's, well, it's anyway two for well. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we don't want the Kite Flyer to die. Do I just Gadget? I, mean, I was thinking of killing the Galacta, but maybe we don't even have to. You know what, let's just do it like this. It'll prevent team-ups, and it, it draws two cards. That's a good gadget. Love gadget with Kite Flyer, man. Such a reliable card draw. Alright, that's good. 
Should there be an icon for hunt? I don't know where it would go though. The other icons have to do specifically with the attack or defense. Um. Uh huh. So that's all he did. It's just a slow play. A superpower. Anyway. <laughs> la 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 la. la, la, la. Uh, I think two nibble and then like two will be fine or three. Cool bean. Coming in a bit early. I think nibble and then cyborg is the play here. I know it'd be cool to go for the mine, but we we just have to we just have to keep this guy up, you know, keep our health up. That's all we kinda have to do here. It'd be nice if he played like a soul patch or something that made us actually have to develop the mime. That would just make this game more fun. Otherwise, just because of the card advantage, oh, there's something. Oh, that's annoying. There's no actual answer to that either. Starch Lord is the most underrated card in the entire game. I can't stand it when people think Starch Lord is bad. You guys, this is a four cost card that has two attack and four health. It has amazing. So we'll go nibble first. And then again, this doesn't suck it in yet. Too bad for him, it's not in the right lane. So there's a nice. Oh no, Cyborg! We don't want to play Cyborg here because he can draw. He can bring it out. Okay, so we'll just clog this. We'll clog both lanes, I guess. Kind of forced to do that now. Gonna clog both of your mom's lanes. Two, two, and three. Good. Now it's a 5 1. Now it just trades. It's not going to die for free. So he mogs a 2 2 for some reason. <laughs> Why did he mog? What was he hoping to accomplish there? It turned into a better 2 2. Congratulations. Bean counter now. Best Mog in the history of PvZ Heroes. So now this happens. Too bad we can't develop Mime? Alright, here we go. There's no way to save the Cyborg, unfortunately. I forgot to write down the Cattail fail. It was it was game three, right? We theoretically have the have the um Oh, the, the, okay, well. We theoretically have Gadget, have Mime here, though. Well, the Mime, if we teleport it in, it's really sad. Alright, let's play this. And go from there. He usually can't remove a 3-6 there, right? God damn it. So, teleport. We don't have enough to really teleport in a big card here, unfortunately. Is he still in this game somehow? Fine. Did I mess up? Oh, was the play just Gadget? Wait, well, yeah, I could have played for Gadget, maybe. Uh, 
Just gadget and Gadget in three? I'm confused. Now Gadget wins. What was the play? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, does this make it more guaranteed to do this one? I, I, I apparently missed something because the chat's yelling at me. What did I miss? <laughs> oh, let me look back at the game so I can see the fail. <laughs> Apparently I just blew it. Oh. On turn 8, you just drive Gadget Scientist in lane 2 and you win. Just guarantee lethal. <laughs> okay. Yep, we missed one. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> I was trying to set up the mime car with BM. Fine, I, I I messed up. I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. Ah, BM, BM value. BM value. So that's, that's four wins now, right? Yeah, so we're four now. Damn. This deck, besides my terrible PvZ Heroes plays, is doing quite well indeed. Yeah, it's going in the fail count. <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know, man. My head is somewhere else today. Okay, so we can keep... We don't have to worry about aggro rows, usually. We also have two superpowers. The answer is the dreaded pumpkin. I think this is fine. I'm really looking for teleports, though, to teleport in some of these more early game cards. La, 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 la. We'll draw into them, though. Most of our deck really is ones, twos, and threes. Love to see it. I really would like this to get mobbed or gotified, because then it just makes our cards later happier. This usually just goes untouched here. What's he gonna bomb? Oh, man, that sucks. Wow, that's a really good card. I don't have an answer to that. So now what? Boop, boop. Well, this can make evaporate work next turn, so no matter what this hits, this should be okay. It also draws a card, so it's just stalling. We'll have like evaporate rocket and just get rid of his whole life next turn. It's okay. a good play. He's playing around evaporate, putting this in front is pretty smart. Or he's just playing around loudmouth. That got goaded. It's just what we want to see. Kite Flyer drawing two cards, though. Usually. No, 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 no. So having a rocket should be okay here, just to kill whatever he he plays. The big, the big mammy, mammy, big mommy. So we have, um, well. We don't got anything to do, do we? Nope. We got Black Eyed Peas from Cosmic Bean. So annoying how Rose, when he doesn't, I mean, we have to worry about Rainana and Dragon, and he just gets toxic freaking Black Eyed Dumbass. <laughs> Sorry. So it's going to be, should we teleport? Teleporting could be okay here. We can also... I mean, we're, we're committing to Teleport Bounty Hunter, because that would actually eat this entire lane. And it also means we're not rocketing. We also have Evaporate, so we could have Evaporate Rocket. We can Teleport Neutron. 
I'm gonna go for a teleport here. It just opens up this play to a lot more possibilities. It's Rose went so slow. The thing it dies to is just Brianna though. Please don't. I can't deal with Black IP and Brianna and Dragon. Please not. Freaking laser beams. So this will actually make him not able to play Dragon next turn, so it's Teleport Bounty Hunter. So draw a bunch of cards here. This has to be right. <laughs> Draws two cards. It's a 4-1. Board face. Yeah. Um, so the opponent ramped really well. We just didn't have answers to all these ramps. We're actually milled. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, just didn't really ramp to anything successfully. There's the... Should have considered the fact we're milled here. The pr real problem is that we don't have an answer to Rocket. Just to, uh, well, no, he can't play Dragon. Sorry, we don't have an answer to Dragon. And he, he can't have Dragon. So it's Teleportation Zombie. And we'll just go from there. We can play Neutron plus Rocket Science here. That'll probably be the play. We can also go Neutron Nibble Nibble. I want to see a Nibble Nibble. We can also go... Okay, the other play we can do is... We, we gotta... We, we don't... We need to kill this. So it's either Neutron Nibble Nibble using three cards here. Or we can go three plus one and just nibble nibble the sunflower. It means we save a nibble. This should probably be okay. It means we're feeding cards to the opponent, but... It, it doesn't really matter at this point. So this is pretty good. Again, it's just another turn before I can... It looks like he's going for Adria. He passed turn 7, so he's gonna have 8s. We kinda need another card anyway. I don't really know what we do here, though. He didn't have a 7 drop last turn, so he's usually not gonna have anything immediate. I mean, he could, if he had a Brinana, he would've played it. He doesn't have Brinana. Let's pass. He could, like, Shrinking Violet this. I could do that too. Ice spore, ice spore. The sad reality is he's just playing for dragon. And we just don't have it. We don't have our power. We need area 22 and Mime Garg for this deck to be able to do damage. There's area. Honestly, this is how we're going to play around dragon. We're just going to play Area 22. We can't rocket it this turn. We can rocket it next, maybe. But it, it gives us something to do. He can't cover all of these lanes. This is going to do some immediate damage, too, which is really nice. The question is, where does the area go? We want it to... The cool thing is if he mogs... Did, did he use mog? He used Godify, obviously. Is this the rose that mogs something way too early? No, that was a different rose. That was a Citron, actually. He used Weed Wax. See, he has Mog. Mog doesn't actually prevent this from happening. He doesn't know that, which is cool. And then Freeze. This is a really good play. This does a bonus attack even. Well, the Mog doesn't do Mog doesn't do a damn thing anymore. See, this is just a one drop. I mean, this can end up doing more damage from the Mog. For real. At least it does three. So that's a lot of damage. Now two plus two just wins. We should be good here. In fact, we make it guaranteed by doing it like this. Yeah, it's guaranteed lethal, guys. Dragon didn't do a damn thing. Give that man a brainana. Give the man a brainana. Got him. Easy. This deck is unstoppable! <laughs> we didn't even get it. We needed Mime there. We didn't even get it. I really want to get like that really good Mime what? game. Damn, we got him. <sighs> Holy smokes! This deck is on... I mean, we're dominating. That was, again, that guy was scary because he actually played something, but... Oh, that was good. What is going on with this? I wanna see your nibble nibble. 
Ah, I'm just wondering why the stream count. Usually the live stream we've been having 300 plus people. We only have about 225. I realize school just started. So anyone, school, high school, university, anyone who has anything to do with academics is not going to have time to watch this, whether it's during the school day. And we're doing this in the evening, but it could just be homework, you know? People just got busy. I'm gonna get rid of this and really want that early game control. Ooh, I think we ditched teleport. Okay, we have two rockets now. It's a lot. I'm really happy we have the cyborg because it just makes this so much less scary. I don't know what the limit is for donation words. I don't Damn, that's an answer. Well, Garlic is really the best answer for Cyborg. Everything else trades even. Now he just gets all this on the field. I'm back in school, but your favorite sandwich can't miss a stream of this quality. Damn. God dang him. Um, this looks really good. This actually trades with this lane. So we can take the two for one back. Let's see what uh, other annoying things. This is gonna be so annoying. I can tell. I can tell already. This guy's gonna be a pain in the tush. So we can 2 plus 2 here. Should be okay. More cards. Uh, this should be fine. 2, 2. You're right, it's the evening, so not. Ooh! Bruh! God damn, this guy's annoying! Okay, uh, might as well do this. Just trying to prevent the damage from coming, but everything lives now. The, the lucky news is he hasn't really done a whole lot yet. We're, we're behind, so I mean, ain't no two ways about that. He also can't drag anything into here involuntarily, so that's good news. It's two plus one. We can't even two plus rocket. Maybe one plus rocket is better. All right, let's go. I'll do this later. It means we can answer Elderberry and Astrocado and Allosaurus. There's a bunch of cards that he will play here, which I just need to get rid of. It's fine. Second rocket can actually hit this now, so Neutron and finally get rid of this forget me notes. Now we can <laughs> play efficiently. Nipple, 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 nipple. So we'll start with this. See where it goes. Really want to develop these uh, big Borgs. <laughs> That's weird, and that gives us a card, so that's really bad at this stage of the game. This isn't even trade. That's cool. That is not an even trade. Cucumber! So it's gonna be... The question is, should I be taking out the four... Well... Where did he get this from, though? That's card draw. That's exactly what he needed. So this always goes here. Should I rock it to keep teleportation zombie alive? Or should I kill this 4 too? We could probably just play the... Yeah, I think I'm gonna rocket this. It actually prevents him from drawing cards. Oh, that's so much smarter than I even thought. <laughs> We're probably just gonna be able to play the gas giant here. It'll mess up this play. It doesn't draw. I'm so happy about that. So this is defensive for sure. So Gas Giant kills our Neutron. Maybe that's not a good idea. Our priority really is killing the Captain Cucumber, because that's what's keeping him in this game. We can't play a Cyborg. It gets dragged too easily. This is the play. And the Neutron still lives. It, we can block 5 damage with this, so that's really good. Oh, okay. That's 5 damage with this. It's uh, Shamrock, it's just so annoying. I hate Shamrock. 
photosynthesizes you. Playing around extinction as well. I don't always play around. Okay, so this happens. Get two more cards here. Looking for area 22, because that's gonna be the thing that can help us push. We gotta kill this card though, man. I'd love a nibble. We have four gadget scientists, so we're completely bricked. No mimes to speak of. No teleports either. Teleport wouldn't be bad. There's Neville. Na 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 na. Nibble, nibble. The cyborg is so bad here because is is there a reason I should just gadget? I, the cyborg just gets dragged in. I think it's just Gadget and Nibble the Cucumber. We're never going to use four Gadgets anyway. Spikeweed Sector is screwing us up. We need uh, an Area 22. It's what we need. Great it, Sean. Oh, face. Grows that. We can nibble while Tricara, it's not never worth it. We gotta prevent this card draw. It's three headed chomper though, man. It's rough. He got this from the Captain Cucumber. Let's run the Tricara attacks. Yeah, this, this might be the one we lose, guys. He probably. He probably has to, like, to pass here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play this and I'll play cyborg here. You can't like move the cyborg anymore. So we're just jump blocking, making sure nothing dies to the three to chopper. Hopefully he doesn't come with a sham rocket now. Okay, it's pretty good still. But if that's all he does, at least we weathered the storm a little bit. He's just all in on these environments. I don't know why you would ever play that environment. This Captain Cucumber is not going anywhere. So that hit. Is mime. Mime gadget clears his field. So we have that. Uh, we also have some block meter stuff happening. So it's mime and just immediate gadget. And then we'll just gadget gadget next turn or mime gadget next turn. The, the, the cool thing is that we have we clear these two. These lanes are clogged and then we have a block. We have a block to give. This is actually winnable now. It just depends what the last cards he has us. I'm so happy we got that nibble. Saved us. Strike through should have gone somewhere else. Okay, that's a good play. Uh, is that guarantee lethal for him now? Because none of our superpowers can, can deal with this. Too bad. All right. Five and one. We gave that guy a pretty good fight. Yeah. So that costs 75,600 sparks to craft. Is that expensive? A little bit. Alright. Yeah, two strike through minions will win no matter what we do there. Okay, we're relying on chump blocking, and yeah, the way the news goes. Why am I having deja vu with the name Nate English? Is that someone in the chat? Where did I just see that name? I like just saw that name. Serious deja vu moment. I think we're gonna need more early game here. Let's go. Definitely passed the summoning. Where did I just see that name? Did we just play this guy? Man, give that man a bat. And by that man, I mean me. Give me bat. I love bat. We want these to die. Find a different person named Nate. Oh, 
I'm just having Vietnam flashbacks, probably. What the heck is this? Is he gonna rain? Jeez. This guy's aggro. Okay, well, it's probably not Cycle Cap now. It's as good as anything. Anything has to attack. This and teleport the other one, maybe. Three gadget, three rocket. Uh, you know, we got bricked with four gadget. I'm really trying to make this into a miracle deck. We got bricked with gadget. I don't know, man. I think getting having too many gadgets is worse than having too few. The gadget is really the, the chance we had of winning that game still. And we need nibbles. We need all kinds of stuff right now. This is rough. We are not doing well. They are getting toasted. Can we please get a nibble? For the love of Christ. Can we roll up a three? Did something good happen? Jeez. This would take a lot of time, but did you ever made a chat made deck type challenge? Like the chat votes for the hero, then we vote for the individual cards to add into the deck till a deck is completed. This would take quite a while to make, but... Should be a fun stream. If you can set up an interface that would make that do it easily, like a really easy interface that's not going to take a year to build the deck, then I'll, I'll consider it. <sighs> Why did he play the bean counter in front instead of behind? Why does he like a 2-2 two -two mushroom rather than a growing 2-2 two -two bean? But we just lose. He just plays two beans for the win. But we don't. We never win here. It's a sad day for every single Jew. We can't win. We can't win. He has weenie beanies. Weenie beanie, weenie beanie for the win. So if we roll double threes, and then I don't know. Cycle cap without the cycle, so we're five and two now. We won five straight, and that definitely gets it done here. When we lose two straight, you know everyone's running cycle cap today for some reason. Uh, what did we need there? Could be the late game is bricking. It really seems like the right thing to do is cut like a mine, maybe, but kind of defeats the purpose of the stick. <laughs> And run a little more early game. A little more. A little more nibble. You know what? Let's do it. I want this to win. We don't need four mimes for this. It's not as important. We just need to stop dying. There you go. I think the kite flyers have been great. Honestly, I don't like playing this card dry. I'm going more kites, too. This will give us more insured card draw. I just like the fact, especially they're running Nibble. I'd way rather play Kite Flyer Nibble on turn 4 than Bounty Hunter, personally. So it means we can just respond to what he's playing. Gravestones are harder to deal with than a dry minion. I hate playing dry minions, man. So I'll update the deck list here. Man, I'm sweating. What is going on with me today? I'll just take this off. Guys, here's some OnlyFans content. Fry remove sweater live on stream. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, guys. It's happening. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's get early game. I like the gadgets, and then we break gadgets one game. But for having four, it's not. I don't think it's gonna. Be. Love cyborg on two. Gotta play on heights. Doesn't die to spike weed. Okay. 
Still one for one trade. You didn't develop a second card there. <laughs> You're one sexy jeer. Okay. I like this. That will play dry. It's just hard to answer. I could get a super, but... This doesn't trade down. Anything he's going to use to answer this is going to cost... He's just running button shroom? Wait. Why is he running... He's running button shroom, okay? I'm so very confused. Such confused. Kite nibble. Bruh. Just stop being sad. <laughs> Where did he get? How is everyone conjuring this garbage today? I'm glad I have the nibble. And crap. Can't deal with this stuff. So now what? These two look cool. It's probably just teleportation zombie into into neutron. And then we'll try it. I don't know. <laughs> he has a berry blast, we'll probably use it here. I don't know. Okay, never mind. We're not playing Neutron, we're just playing Area 22. Bruh. It still draws two cards. I'd like to see. We can also Neutron event. Yeah, screw it. Area. Uh, he actually got Captain Cucumber synergy since this card is conjured. So you're at the real. I got a good feeling that it never, 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 never happened. I think we develop this and then go for Mime. And worst case scenario, we can just play Area 22. I think this is going to be the game of the Mime, the Mime Garg. Got that. God damn it. Bro, don't do that. <laughs> Exploiting our environment so badly. I gotta go. Never, 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 never. I don't know. Nibble. Now it's my nibble, I think. I can't teleport anymore. And we'll do this next turn. We can also evaporate nothing. This is untrickable. Oh, we got Blockbuster! <laughs> uh, I think Nibble... No, he dies! Come on, man! It's fine. We Probably should have nibbled this one, right? Yeah. Whoopsies. I want to do Mime Guard! <laughs> it's useless. Uh, this usually just wins on the spot. Let's go for it. Pew. Pew. So he needs to get his... his super. His meteor... bubble... Ooh, bubble actually would work too. Actually... Yeah, he has to not get Meteor. Well, Meteor is the one thing that makes him lose. He bubbles. Lame. What? <laughs> Into the wrong lane? Did he miss? He just didn't know we're in the middle of, uh, of an attack phase here. <laughs> okay. Easy. <laughs> I don't know, man. The man missed. 
Man, this is the fail comp of the... This is the, one of the... First of all, one of the most fun streams we've had in a while. And second of all, the fail comp. Fail comp provider. Chat's about to blow up. Ah, uh, right. I gotta win two more games. I think we could do this, guys. He wanted a faster death. There you go. Good old moist. That I never, 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 never have before. I don't know. It seems like the more. Uh, all right. Imagine playing Haunted Pumpkin when you're Rose. Imagine dragons. You can't really explain this with Roto Vega. Oh, there's no real reason not to place on the ground. With top deck area, also if he go to Fies or Mogs it, it's better with area. I need two more games, guys. So far, so good. That's okay. One for one trade. We get a card, he doesn't. That is a victory. Victoria! So plays around ramp. That's really what you gotta watch out for with Rose. Uh, teleportation zombie will be more useful later. Might even teleport this in into teleporting something else. Love to see it. Super bra moment? It's like actually bra? Player on nibble, bro. He's just trying to ramp package, but it's going nowhere. So not only are we gaining tempo, but gaining card advantage. Um, we're also just messing up what he's trying to do. Um, I'm pretty sure it's teleport, teleportation zombie, and then we can get, uh, cyborg and pretty fresh coming in here. We can also now area. Area's gotta be better, right? Let's mess him up. There's no point in summoning. Should I just go for dry gadget now? Can get exploited, but we killed this card. It's okay. Actually, we play Cyborg dry, and then he can't move this Cyborg out of the area. Got him. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no, it's lethal. He's dead. He's dead, bro. The bird is too slow. There's no way he's surviving this man. Well, he can block and get... I don't know what. Should we go for the... I, we have to not die to bring Nana. Screw this guy, we also have summoning still. So here's five, he first of all has to block. Second of all, if he mobs again, or godifies this lane, it still does a bonus attack. I wish I could have shown you guys that. God damn it. I guess Weed Whack and Freeze would have prevented that, but I, with the summoning and all this, that guy. That guy, that guy, he's the dead guy. He's the dead, he's the dead guy. For any metal pedal? I, I like the all out ramp with metal pedal and um metal pedal and frog the six plus ram card um toadstool and then you just run a bunch of eights that's fun probably a little better with solar well a little better with the solar flare better eight drums not really there's dragon imagine dragon getting a combo every time I think we still gotta gotta control this guy area. That's fine. I love uh, area is gonna be an easy keep in our starting hand as long as we have a little bit. Is this a, no? It's the same guy. I'm, not, I'm actually not even gonna play, even though I, I killed this guy, ripped him to shreds. So if this is the same guy running ramp rose, I'm gonna concede. It's the vortex. Yeah. All right. Just because of snipers and all that, I kind of do feel like kicking this guy's tush again, but. We really do have the answer to his turn two play too. <laughs> I am I don't play the same guy twice. I don't want to. I'm not interested. Enjoy your free star, sniper. Probably. Get matched up twice in a row. It's possible the game ends and we both press the button and then it gets matched up. But I don't know. I want to, with the numerous amount of snipers we have, I want to at least limit the, <laughs> the impact they can have on the stream. Bro. 
Look, when they beat me, I don't play them again, so in fairness, if I beat them, I shouldn't play them either. This is not the same guy. This is the Asian guy. This is the final boss of the stream. <laughs> oh no! We are at a severe disadvantage for <laughs> racial distance. No, shut up. It's not offensive. Shut up. Imagine getting offended when people are calling you smart. Because I'm not smart. Yeah, I know. I know. Everyone knows. It's not even a secret anymore. Dumb people get more angry than smart people on average? Bry, shut up! Uh, yeah, we'll save that. Make him scared to play, Sunflower. Cost Moss. Cost Randy Mouse. I mean, the only two cost environment he's gonna have is Bog. This is a cool card to play against Cosmos. Pretty sure we just do this, though. Twin Sunflower is really good here. God damn it. <laughs> Not offensive to say someone's good at video games, okay? <laughs> It's not offensive. Shut up. Now what? Ooh, this is rough. Uh, these two plus acid, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't have anything too bad. See, the acid actually kills this. Very, very nice. Smart people are more angry than stupid people, because stupid people are ignorant and ignorance is bliss. That's a good theory. Not a bad theory. Man, we gotta kill this, but we can't. <laughs> Feel bad. Alright, I guess it's Kite Flyer. Oh my god. Holy crap, we are getting... Colossally wrecked by this one card. You know, if he didn't set up the Cosmos on turn one, he wouldn't have been able to play the Twin Sunflower. That Cosmos wrecked us. Shrecked us. I don't even know what to do here, man. Just try to not let him hit us twice, I guess. Clog these other lanes since we can't block strike here. Nice try. God damn it. This guy is brutal. Maybe block evaporate would help. Which one of these would we like to evaporate? And it so doesn't matter. The problem is this just kills us straight up next turn and it just kills us. There's no way to manipulate this either. A rocket science would have been really nice there. We didn't get it. I think we just lose? Laser Bean! I mean, we're running rockets, just didn't get them. God damn it, this twin sunflower! We're just done. We got evaporate, which was cool, but it's not, a, not even close. Not even close. Look at his hand. We're bricked with five drops, man. <sighs> Such anticlimactic. Maybe he'll play an environment and it'll make us win somehow. I should have just played the last guy. <laughs> oh, I can't deal with this, man. Anyway, right, I'm gonna play one. The answer is no already. But I'm gonna play one more game, just not to leave. After receiving such a walloping. I mean, it was just he developed Twin Sunflower and then just played Strike Through Minions and we just did not have a rocket. Too bad. Ah. Alright, the answer is no. We're going to play one more game. Can't end on that one. If I'm going to lose, I want it at least to be a good game. That was just, we just got wrecked. So the answer is no. 
I'm gonna wait till the stream delay catches up to the action so I can reward the channel points. Congrats to the no. We went five and zero oh with this deck, man. And we end up at seven and three. Still great. I mean, absolutely fantastic. This deck should be decent against Win so far. We just had a one drop. Too bad, man. All right. Two of these is probably too many. This should be fine. Freshwater hour, thank you. Such constructive criticism. Who's calling me? Don't call me. So I was like literally calling me. No, I need to make this play. I need to make this play. Don't call me while I'm streaming. I should really set up PvZ Heroes on a different device. Can I please make this play? Thank you. I should have played that on Heights. Whoops. And we don't have area. If I top deck area, it would be nice, but otherwise. Dies in three turns. It's just taking damage, so it's just easier for him to deal with it. Yeah, this deck, this stream is going on YouTube. Oh, show. I should have played this on Heights, though. Maybe this actually being protected from the spike weight is better, better technically. That's a really good pumpkin shot. It clears the R threat off the field and also sets up for next turn pretty nicely. Uh, we'll play for Rocket here. We're also drawing, which is nice. We'll play for Rocket in case he like plays an Elderberry on us. It's gonna be way too tough. Uh, yep. Yeah. Really, anything he plays into here gets rocketed. A nice two for one. It's just one of the reasons this card is a little sad. Some goddamn efficient trick removal. <laughs> He's running water balloons. Okay. Now what? We can't really do anything. Uh, now we go teleportation rocket. He could just have Blockbuster. He's gonna do it too. He's like so gonna play Block. It's still a two for two, so it's not bad. He can nail it! Now what? Uh, we clear Pecanolith, I guess. Still is five. We, we actually draw a card. Thanks, Pecanolith. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. That's a five. That's okay. Uh, I would love a teleport here so we can do some mime stuff. Oh my gosh, this might be the game. This might be the game. We're going for mime. We're going for mine. Bruh! It's oh, annoying. <laughs> Dong. I don't care. I'm going. He's going here? Okay. Teleport. Mama, mama. I'd love to time like a cyborg or a neutron here so we can get the mime combo. Should we just take the seven damage while we have it? It's too usually block this gets blocked anyway. Oh. Should I still be playing for Rocket, maybe? Nope. Blockbuster is fine. Hammer. So he doesn't have an answer? That's cool. That sure is neat. So we'll do this now. We have three plus five here. I think we're good, guys. Area. Acid doesn't do anything. Sir, 
So it, this is gonna proc the block. He'll need to get his super. It's like a one in three. Otherwise, this then does two, and this does another five. His walnut would help too. Oh, how do I do this? How about just gadget? Just gadget. Should I do it here? I think because we have nibbles. We don't need to worry about this. Gadget here. Oh no, it blocks the bomb! <laughs> Still might have been the right play, honestly. <laughs> okay. Brainy no worky. There's that's nice. Love to see that. So it's nibble nibble now. No, it's actually acid. What? Do that. It's rude. Bro! Wait, how do we do this now? Acid, nibble, nibble? But how do we win the game then? Acid, nibble, nibble makes this go face. Oh yeah, I think we, yeah, we got him. No, it's actually my go. Yeah, this is guaranteed. This is guaranteed. Guaranteed lethal for us. Yep, you guys see it? Puzzle party. We just need 10 damage. Million percent lethal. It's the perfect hand. The perfect amount of sun. A little extra. We give him one of these. We give him one of these. Shabow. But you can pow. Petit bonnet. Petit bonnet. Got him. Perfect. Come on, guys. Doesn't get better than that. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's just area? Shut up. <laughs> we did it the fancy way. It was guaranteed lethal. Eight and three. That's a great way to end the stream. The Wombo Combo. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was a really fun stream. This deck actually dominated. It seems like the Area 22 and the Neutrons did just as much with the Mime Garks. Mine was fine, though. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was way cooler than just playing Area Guys. <laughs> you have to like, go through all the possibilities. I'm looking for the for the Mime Guard play, okay? Saw it first. It was guaranteed. I don't care. I don't even care that I missed that one. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. That was an extremely fun stream. Hell yeah, going on YouTube. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace and subscribe.